Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Today, William Samaruto has arrived in this country. And the way he left this country, it seems like he's not an unhappy man at all. I want us to look at whatever Pauline Joroge has come out to post in her Facebook timeline. And this also connected with what happened on Monday and whatever is likely happening on Thursday, today. Now, Pauline Joroge has come out to say this. On Sunday, Rigadi Gashago held a meeting with top police bosses and dictated the following. Number one, police to use excessive force and live bullets during the Monday demo. Number two, internet to be shut down. Number three, police to ignore the invasion of the Kenyatta Northland land. Now, as the way Pauline Joroge has continued to say, Interior CS Kindiki Kiture placed a call to the President Ruto, who by then was out of the country, and told him he would not be party to the above undertakings. The President weighed on the matter, called Rigadi, and told him shutting down the internet was pushing the matter too far and it will attract a lot of backlash locally and internationally. So that particular idea was dropped. The president was also hesitant on the excessive use of the force since it was him who will be, who will be fried by the international community. Now, I want to say, when you look at whatever happened the last Monday during the demonstration, it is a very clear indication that the plans that Rigadi Gashago came out planning was not part and parcel support of William Ruto and Kindike Kiture. Because we have been told that Kindike Kiture come at a point calling William Samuruto, telling him whatever was happening. In fact, it reached at a point even leave alone internet to be shut down. They were planning to shut down all media across the Republic of Kenya. And this could have been like things could have been done in darkness that no one could have come out to understand what was happening and what was not happening. So in the relay of Rigadi Gashago planning all these things, some of issues we are being told William Ruto was not happy about it. This also came after certain members of parliament from Rift Valley had came out to call William Samoy Ruto that things were not good because things were that were already planned was going to create mayhem, was going to create violence and also chaos in the Republic of Kenya. And this could have come out to paint a bad picture of William Samaruto as a president of the Republic of Kenya, locally and also internationally. For this, people has come out to divide themselves in certain small groups in Kenya Kwanzaa government, where you find that certain members of parliament from Rift Valley, they are not happy with whatever Igadi Gashago is doing. Number two, certain members of parliament from Mount Kenya region, they are not happy with whatever Rigadi Gashagwa is doing. On the other side, there are certain members of parliament and also elected leaders that are supporting and part and parcel of what Rigadi Gashagwa is doing. On this side, some people are feeling like the plans that Rigadi Gashagwa is doing is just to sideline William Ruto as a person that is not good at all with dialogue or handshake. But in a matter of fact, police to use excessive force and live bullets during the Monday demonstration, we are being told this was a plan of Rigadi Yashagwa to create mayhem, chaos, and violence in the Republic of Kenya during the mass action. The issue of shutting down internet was to bring attention to those who were likely going to cover the mass action. That then this could have been done in darkness. No one could have come out to understand whatever is happening. You know, in social media, is is um, 
a medium that assists Kenyans to understand whatever is happening and whatever is not happening. Because of course, if chaos starts maybe from Nairobi or from Madari, Madari, and you yourself, you are living in Madari, and through the social media that has been closed, media houses has been closed, where will you have the update? Because they were planning to close radios, TV stations, internet. And this could have been a big problem to our country. So interior CS Kindiki Kiture to come out to place a call to the present Ruto. Why then uh, the country, um, he came out to call William Ruto, who by then was out of the country. And he came out telling him that he will not be party and the person above the undertakings. What regarding the shower plan, police to use excessive force and live bullets, internet to shut down, police to ignore the invasion of Kenyatta land. So this was just literally out of um, disagreement. And of course, you could listen to a curious, curious William Samoruto coming out to stop this. You know, and of course, when you look at um, William Ruto, however, he forgot to give the alternative directions of what was going to happen because you cannot tell me that whatever regarding Gashawa planned, William Ruto never knew this. This was something that he knew. And he, uh, maybe he came out supporting the idea. So for him, he could have come out even to stop the way he stopped the shutdown and closure of Wi-Fi, he could have out, come out to stop the excessive force of police and also the invasion or invading the, the, the land of um, Uhuru Magai Kenyatta. I want to say that Kindiki, as cabinet minister of interior security, the certain roles that was snatched from him and given to Rigari Gashawa, the same happened to the cabinet minister of foreign affairs, Alfred Mutua, who came out saying, not saying, but there are certain roles that was snatched from his ministry and was given to Rigadi Gashago. So it seems like Rigadi Gashago has been given so powerful roles in his docket as the deputy president. And that is why, have you asked yourself, why is it that a bigger percentage of members of parliament they don't want to give their opinions towards whatever is coming, is happening. But still, regarding Gashago is continuing to do whatever he is doing. Today, he presented himself at his office at 5.30 a.m. What was he doing at that moment? It is not wrong to present yourself as early as you can. But this man is out of whatever he is planning. But again, whatever regard is trying to make is looking bad with an aim of turning a kikuyu or kikuyus against him, but let me tell regard Gashago. Time might not come as simple as it is because he is happy colliding his tribe with other tribes, or his tribe with his tribe. Akikui with Akikui. But he might not remain to see the result as per whatever he is planning. So as you could see even the moods of William Ruto arriving in this country this morning, you could see just simple indication that this man is not happy with whatever regard is doing. Even if he is second, he's second in command, things is not good. Things is not good. And we are waiting to see if Raila Odinga is going to this mandamano today. Is there certain changes that is going to be seen in terms of organized goons and sponsored goons with certain individuals in this government? That is what we are waiting to see. So for me, the frustration of William, William Ruto is that what Rigadi Gashagwa is trying to do in the name of guiding their government 
but again unknowingly is shutting down and destabilizing their own government ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much bye bye